Hello, everybody. I'd like to tell you that this is the last video and the last post that I'm going to make on Truth. I'm hoping that it is, so I know I'm very addicted to the screen. Uh, I'm leaving. I'm going back to paper. Paper everything. Paper, paper mache. <laughs> no, paper, paper books. And I'm not going to, to be subjected to the the amount of, of 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 light that's going into my head and before i go i'd like to invite you to use any of my material um, because i'm not going to be here i want the message to go out to help people to break away from the tyranny that's happening a few quick thoughts on autism and robert f kennedy jr I don't know that he should be the president of the United States, but I sure think that he should have a big place. It's coming out that I've been injured and everybody who's autistic with MTHFR, which you can look that up, it's a genetic problem with mercury, should have the right to sue the government for the amalgam mercury and the, the misterol and the shots. It's finally coming out that vaccines actually injured people. Well, I'm one of those people. I'm autistic. Uh, other than that, um, I don't believe in parties. Now, I looked into how to make a political party, and I realized that any party that you make, any political party that you put together will be taken over by the forces that have the money. You can't keep them out unless... We change policy through town hall and petition. So when I look this up, mostly political parties become political or political movements, and they want to get ahead of the movement to try to steer it in the direction that they want to. You notice Republican against Democrat now all the time. It's a Republican against a Democrat. Forget about the uni party. They don't want to hear that. Why? Because they want to stay in power. That has to go. But not only that, the the monopoly that the uni party has has to go but the voting has to be out of the republican and the democrats hands they'll tell you oh well the democrats watching oh well we have republicans watching oh well, there's no independence now you see elections have to be held at a separate town hall of the people and they have to be regulated by not just republicans and democrats but by camera and by by the ability to to monitor everything that's happening. Ballots, tickets, all those kind of things, they, they need to be traced. Every, every ballot's got to have a number. And if it has to be a secret ballot, you should have a receipt of what you voted for, and it should correspond to that number. Now, how that works, whether it's on a computer or whether it's all on paper, I, I, I have no clue. All I know is that the system that's in place, especially Dominion, is cheating. That has to end. If that doesn't end, well, there's no more future for this country. The other thing I'd like to say is that there are no laws made by politicians or representatives because they put forward the laws. But first, a law, a bill is supposed to be put forward by a petition. If a lawmaker puts forward a petition on one law, not omnibus or what do they call uh, pork, 50 million things in one bill. Oh, and don't read it. Now, that's not the way to do business here. No, no representative should be able to cast a vote unless that vote is backed up by a vote of the people. So first, there has to be a petition put forward, not just by, I mean, the representative can put it forward, but it needs to be debated on by the people. It needs to be signed into petition of the people. So the representative can't just introduce a bill. That's not the, the a representative should not have the power to introduce a bill. The representative should only have the power to introduce a petition so that the petition can be signed by the people after it's debated upon and then possibly voted on. And then after it is voted for, voted on, then the representative can vote uh, in place of the people. Only then, because even if the representative doesn't do the people's bidding, the representative should go to jail, but at least kicked out. And whatever the people's will made law. This way, there's no lobbyists there's no big governments. There's no China. There's nobody that's going to, to change, you know, 
uh, our laws without the consent, consent of the people. Nothing should, be, no, nothing should be done without the consent of the people. And by the way, all these bureaucracies were made to destroy the government. The CIA, the, the, the FBI, the IRS, the FDA, all, and its Food and Drug Administration, uh, and then they're poisoning us. The government should be out of that. The democracy, the, 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 the bureaucracy has to end. These are some of the points that are very important. And as far as parties are concerned, they shouldn't be on ballots. You should be able to write in a candidate's name. Not, not, and, and no party should be able to put a name on a ballot or even control the idea that you can't even write in a candidate. Election law has to change, and the only way that's done is the people. Now, the people can make petitions, but if the, if the petitions aren't listened to, you know that what's coming is, is that we're going to be persecuted we're going to we're going to be poisoned as we're being poisoned today by the fluoride in our water, by the by the by the by the fentanyl, by the by the vaccines, by the drug industry. We are being inundated and they are at war with us. And final thing is, is that they're actually from Satan. There's an old religion called Gnosticism. Now, it's infiltrated even atheism thought, though they think they're atheists. They're actually they're actually um, Satanists. And what I have to say about that is Gnosticism in the form of Freemasonry. Uh, you know, if you look up Madame Blavatsky, the Crowleys, you look at what happened with, with um, um, you know, history. All throughout history, this Gnostic cult has been there. It has infiltrated the Jewish community. If you look at Jewish mysticism, steeped in, steeped in Gnosticism. If you look at, at the Freemasons and some, and some uh, crazy religions out there, Christian religions, steeped in Gnosticism. If you look at the Islam, Gnostic teaching, this God is actually Satan. And here's the point. It has always been that there was going to be an end time. And the real enemy is Satan. The real enemy is God is at our doorstep, has been there for a while, but now it seems like the final battle will be happening. It seems as if the, the faithful are going to be drawn up and there's going to be a war against, between Satan, between the seed of the woman and the seed of the serpent. This is Genesis chapter three. And those who are faithful and know the Lord Jesus Christ those are the ones that are going to prevail, but not on this earth. There's going to come a time when this earth will be rolled up. Now, there's people who believe that, oh, well, we're going to be, going to be pulled up and raptured before all this happens. Don't count on it. People, it's time to stand up for God, to know the Lord Jesus. And I don't mean in a way that puts you under the legalism of the law. I mean the freedom that you have from being released from the law and the ability to follow the law because you've been forgiven, not because there's some obligation that you might have to live up to something. Jesus lived up to it all for you. Enter into his rest. Rest in his grace, in his peace. And yes, live your life to not sin, but, but, don't, but realize that you are forgiven. The reason why you don't sin is for love's sake. Because when you go against God's law. You may hurt other people. You see, it's all about love. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy, does not boast, does not rejoice in doing evil. It rejoices in the truth. So whatever is true, believe in, because your, your God is there. It's proven throughout history. This whole battle that's going on is all biblical. So trust in Christ and rest in Christ every day. And then pick up your sword, the sword, the sword of your faith, your sword of the spirit, your helmet, your salvation is your helmet. And go forward and let us, let us do well and fight the battle in good faith. Save the children, save, save our lives, and may God bless you and keep you.